Hey guys, welcome to another Red Beard Outdoors episode and another ultimate deck boat build. The other day I took the boat out onto a main lake to uh, test out how well this deck's gonna work. So uh, let's go ahead and roll some footage of that. Today we made it out onto the main lake. We're giving the deck the ultimate test, see how she works. And um, the other day I tried tried it out on a small lake and the trolling motor didn't work so well. Um, I think I have that problem fixed. And so we're mainly gonna be fishing for smallmouth and uh, if we're lucky, some uh, uh, largemouth too. So um, we're on a point right here weather temperature is about 60 degrees and the water temperature is fifty-five. So um let's get to it and try to catch some fish. Try to bring the first fish up on this deck right here. So let's get that going. Uh oh. Trolling motor quit working. The trolling motor died. I think the plug might have gone bad or something, I don't know. Okay guys, we've been riding the struggle bus, but ended up getting this little guy. Um, it was really sloppy, you guys didn't mess anything, so, so let's let this guy go. Okay, as you guys saw, the trolling motor's not working anymore. I don't know what the problem is with it, but I think it just it's so old it just crapped out and it's pretty much done for um i'm sure it's some kind of wiring issue and uh it could probably i could probably figure it out i just i don't know i gave up on it i really wanted a new trolling motor anyways uh the old stimulus check came in and i ended up buying a new trolling motor so uh let's go take a look at that not much to show on this uh shipping box but I'm not gonna open that yet. I'm gonna save that for another video. But I got a new Minn Kota Travera trolling motor. And the big thing that came out of that is the spot lock anchor. That is going to be so useful to holding me in place, especially with this Kansas wind. So I'm gonna get to taking off this deck and um, undoing the trolling motor. Also, I'm going to do a unboxing on that trolling motor in a separate video. And I'll probably do a separate installation video apart from the uh, ultimate deck boat build. Okay, let's get this taken apart.
I will see you guys in a few days. Hey guys, welcome back. In a previous video, I did the Minn Kota drilling motor installation and I ran into an issue with the foot pedal. It's a lot shorter and wider, which means that my trolling motor box is useless and um, it won't fit that foot pedal. So I'm going to have to do some customizing to my trolling motor box. It really sucks and this is a major setback because I put a lot of work into that trolling motor box to, to get it to work with my other trolling motor that died on me. So, not too happy about that one, but um, no point to dwell on it, just to move forward. So, what I'm going to do is start disassembling this uh, trolling motor box and uh, come up with a new method to uh, fit this new foot pedal. Hey guys, welcome back to a new day on the Ultimate Deck Boat Build. Sorry I lost audio and all that footage. Sorry about that. Um, I just wrapped up about 90% of the trolling motor installation. So what that means is I can put the deck back together and start focusing on that again. So um, let me give you a look of how the trolling motor box panned out. I have the trolling motor foot pedal installed, so here it is. So I'm going to secure this down, get this installation going. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of the decking on once again. Something that has come up is the cl the two cleats right here interfere with the the deck lid opening up. So um, I'm gonna relocate them. All right, I'm gonna set the cleat right here now. Um, it'll actually be more feasible, and I don't have to get out of my seat. It'll no longer be up there interfering with the deck door. So 
Let's uh, get this installed. That's pretty close to the door, but it clears and I didn't want it too much over here. I land a lot of fish over here, so I hope it's not in the way too much. And then you got the live well that opens up, but I think that's a good spot for it. So hopefully that works. Okay, I just want to flatten those holes out. They were kind of raised. That way it doesn't do something like cut my fishing line. Okay guys, I've been doing a lot of testing on how to get this latch to work. And pretty much um, it has to be perfect. So what I ended up doing was taking my router and carving all this out with a router with no uh, like shield or anything on it. So uh, I don't have the right tool. Um, I don't know if the router is the best tool. I hope it is. Uh, it did a pretty good job. And as you can see, it drops right in and it's flush. So let me show you the back part. The back part, I had to make this lip right here and the router got away from me right here so i'm gonna uh, have to do a better job when i do the deck but um it made this lip right here and um so what happens is that that snugs right down in there and i will put my screws in and tighten this up and then it'll be secured to the wood and then this little hinge right here will hit a metal bracket that'll be mounted to the wall the deck wall right here so I think I have it figured out I just need to uh, quit being scared and and do it to this deck now so that was one of the reasons I got it mounted I'm gonna give this a try uh, the template was pretty successful other than it getting away from me one time so anyways i need to uh i need to go through with this and install the latches next uh it's getting pretty late so uh i will continue this another day stay tuned new day um i'm gonna work on trying to get these uh latches installed so uh let's jump right into it these metal brackets will go on the back side of the wall like this and then i'm gonna have to cut it perfectly so the latch hits it like so i'm not even sure how i'm gonna approach this yet but uh let's get started Alright, I put a bucket down to try to catch some of the sawdust. I'm not going to catch it all. i got the shop vac ready to clean that up. So, quick description on the router. I'm going to adjust it so that this bit uh, doesn't penetrate all the way through the wood. Uh, that's how I did it on my test run. And um, I will start making this hole. Let's do it to it. Okay, here's what it looks from the top side. Um, I need to do some routing up here now. I'm not going to explain it too much because you'll see it in the video. So let's get started.
There we go, guys. Now I gotta clean up and get this thing mounted. I'm not gonna finish um, putting those on because I'm gonna run to the hardware store. Probably not today, but eventually. Because I'm gonna need a longer version of this screw. Um, just because, unfortunately, this latch wasn't really a well thought out design. Um, because you have to account for uh, what you're mounting it to and the width of that. And they gave you the shortest screws possible, so that's not going to work out. So I'm going to start laying out the decking on top here and maybe make some cuts. So let's get started on that. Okay guys, I have about half the boat cut and I'm going to um, apply this sticky side down and I went ahead and bought some heavy duty spray adhesive glue just to give it that extra stick. Um, I don't know if I need it or, or not, but at least I don't have to worry about it. So um, I'm going to go through with that and let's uh, get this side stuck down and then I'll probably call it a day. I think it's on there it's pretty sticky stuff so I think we're good let's move on to this side piece here she's starting to shiver it's gonna be soon so I need to not make too much noise down there all right guys I, as you just heard our dog reason is very pregnant right now and she's about to uh, whelp so um, I'm gonna do one more piece and then I'm gonna to have to call it quits for the day. I have a video in the making for her whelping. All right guys, welcome back. It's a new day here. Sorry about the fan. It is really hot today and I'm trying to get some stuff done. I ran to the hardware store, got longer screws for the latches. I got one installed right here. So now I need to put the uh, latching bracket right here but I'm gonna need to uh, use a uh, a spacer because my measurements were slightly off just a little bit so I'm gonna cut one real quick I'll show you how that's gonna go all right I have this cleaned out right here and I have to crawl inside and do all this work it's pretty dark in there I'm not even gonna try to film but I will show you guys the finished product here in about right now Okay, I was off by the slightest centimeter, which uh, cost me big on these latches. 
Um, probably would buy a little bit more heavier duty latches next time. Um, or you guys that are attempting to do a project like this, I would go with better, sturdier latches. Um, these are made of plastic and uh, kind of wish they had a little bit more uh, beef to them. So, especially on this part right here, it's just plastic in it. I gotta do the deck matting on the other side and then I'm gonna put that shock in and then these will hold down and keep the lid from opening up. So I really hope that works. Let's get started on the deck matting on the other side of the of this deck right here. So let's get going. Alrighty fellas, I need to put this latch on and then I'm going to put the uh, gas strut on and see how how this lid opens up. So um, I gotta crawl inside of the deck, so I'm not gonna be filming in there, so I'll show you the, the latch when it's done. Okay, that was way too big of a project and kind of ran into a lot of issues and saw that but i'm not going to go through that too much but um we both they both are working now and uh now i can put my gas strut on and let's see if this thing really comes together that is awesome not gonna lie you can kind of tell it's pushing in the middle right there but the the latches are holding it down um, not really sure I can tighten that up any more than I have so probably gonna have to live with it let's let's do it a few more times here As you can see, I'm messing the trolling motor. So I got lucky there. Um, when I installed the trolling motor, I planned for that so that I could open this lid still. So um, yeah, I just, I'm gonna button up a few things, install my uh, foot pedal back down. I've had this knife right here, just kind of a quick knife if I ever need to cut anything. And I don't really like it on there. That's just the only place I had to put it. I think it's time to find this knife a new home. Can't remember if I mentioned this before, but I took some of this padding and put it around the uh, deck frame. So there's a soft non-vibration closed lid there. So, um, Came in handy for a couple other things too so i got the boat cleaned pretty well got it all vacuumed out other than my workspace right here and um i got this light right here 
I need to find a new home for that because it doesn't fit anymore where it was. And my original plan was to always put it underneath right here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Um, sorry if this is a long video. I guess it kind of depends on how I edit it, but um, a lot of days tied into uh, one video to uh, get all this uh, deck matting done. So, uh, hope you guys found this helpful. I am very close to being able to uh, get out on the water and do a test. And that's mainly gonna be for testing out the deck again and testing out the new trolling motor and also testing out the uh garmin sonar since uh that's all different now so make sure you guys stay tuned um i still have a lot to do to this uh it just might be a while before i make too many more deck build videos i still have the electronics to do so there is that um but I probably won't get to that anytime soon because uh, I'm ready to fish, haven't been fishing much, and uh, ready to uh, put this to good use. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.